What's going on today, YouTube? What's up? If you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. Tap that bell notification so you guys know when I go live. If you don't know already, got a contract on Facebook to stream, which is why I'm not streaming on YouTube anymore. I'm over on Facebook. Don't even really get around to going on Twitch that much anymore either because I'm on the book. So make sure you guys stop over to Facebook, follow, tap the bell, explanation point, notify if you guys want to be a part of the live streams, stop in, chat, hang out. So let's get right to the video and talk about the content here, which is the MP40, aka the Shredder. We're going to talk about that gun right now because it is the most OP SMG in Vanguard. I'm going to show you guys how to set this gun up so you'll be begging for more they'll be begging you to stop. I'm gonna show you guys the loadout, and the exact setup that I'm running, and not only that, the damage and the crazy plays that I've got with this gun. I'm gonna show you guys the pure mayhem and catastrophe you're gonna create with the MP40. Be sure to check me out over on the book and the gram at Real Joseph Corey, including Twitter. Little birdie in your ears telling you to follow me, right? And subscribe right here on the tube for more videos. Appreciate you guys. Peace and love. Catch you on the flip side and on the next video or upload. Let's see you over on the live streams. Let's go. Peace. This is how I have it set up. I'm gonna get right to it, guys. Muzzle Mercury Silencer. There's nothing better than this, and I'll explain why. Getting sound suppression, but recoil control. And since we've got a few things set up in this gun where recoil control is not gonna be the greatest, this is gonna help just a little bit more to help balance that. The reason why we're not going with the other silencer is because it's gonna cost you aim down sight speed, whereas the Mercury silencer is damage range. And I don't think you need a lot of damage range, especially in smaller maps. So it's not going to really be as much of a factor. And considering the ammo I have this gun set up with has more penetration, damage, and bullet velocity, we don't really need to worry about that as much. So we're gonna go with the Mercury silencer. As far as the barrel, you 100% want the 221 millimeter O1B. The reason for it is because it's only slightly less damage than the 285 millimeter barrel, but you're gonna be getting aimed out sight speed, hip fire accuracy, and aim walking movement speed, which is the big thing. And you're gonna see guys in the clips to come that the aim movement speed has helped me get a lot of kills. And not only that, the sprint fire speed and aim down sight speed, which is all coming from this barrel. As far as the optic, this pretty much is taste. It's gonna come down to you. Personally, I like the 2.5, and the reason is because it's good enough to get kills at a range, and it's also quick enough to get kills up close. So I recommend the 2.5 G16, but I also like the slate reflector, but that's going to be a little bit harder to get kills at a range, but it really just depends on your style of gameplay. Those are the two best, in my opinion. Moving along to the stock, there's no need to really look at the other stocks too much. The VDD 34 millimeter padded is the best way to go because it's got recoil control and a lot of it, a lot of accuracy, a lot of flinch resistance, and it's got recoil recovery. Again, you're losing sprint to fire speed and movement speed. But again, we're gonna rectify that with other attachments on the gun. If you look at the remove stock, you're getting hip fire accuracy and movement speed. You're losing accuracy and recoil control. You don't want to do this because we're already losing a little bit of that with the barrel. You don't want to be doing that with your stock. As far as the VDD 34 millimeter, you're again going to be losing movement speed and hip fire accuracy, which we're going to be gaining accuracy with the padded. As far as the VDD 35 millimeter, this is going to be great for like recoil control, aiming stability, but you're losing movement speed and a lot of aim down sight speed. You don't want that for speed. If you're setting it up for war zone, this would be the uh, stock that I would use, but not for Vanguard's team deathmatch or any of these smaller maps. The VDD 34 is the way to go. As far as proficiency, nothing's better than nerves of steel at least for this gun. You're getting accuracy while being suppressed or injured. It's gonna help you land more shots. Now, I know Perfectionist is also gonna be good. You could run that and you could run steady. 
that's going to help you out with uh, reduced movement penalties and whatnot for like hip firing while you're moving. That's also great. Momentum's great. They're all really good, but I think Nerves of Steel is the best for, you know, Team Deathmatch or Perfectionist, one or the other. Uh, moving along to Kit, this is kind of up to you. It doesn't really matter. I like Quick because it's going to allow your sprint speed to be increased a little bit, and that is what I recommend. We go to the rear grip. This is going to be subjective to your style of play. However, if you want the most out of this gun, grooved grip and the reason for that is your aim walking movement speed and accuracy again you're losing a little bit of sprint to fire time a little bit of aim down sight time but you're gaining that with the stock that we just talked about and we're kind of balancing this out if you notice as we go along the key here is you want groove grip because you want to be faster and more accurate while you're aiming down the sights and strafing this is a key as far as your magazine it is a no contest here no questions asked don't be like hey Corey, what should I be using? No, you shouldn't be using anything else. There's nothing else to talk about. Forget it, there's no options here, nothing. You got the eight millimeter cruise 32 round mags, that's it. The reason, bullet velocity, penetration, damage. Right there, you're losing accuracy, but we've made up for it with the other attachments. If you look at the nine millimeter rounds, you're losing a ton of firepower. You look at the 762 Garenko rounds, you're losing a ton of firepower. You look at the nine millimeter, guess what? You guessed it, we're losing power. You can't have that. You can't lose power on a gun that's really already underpowered compared to ARs. And hey, guess what? A little secret for you? They're gonna be using LMGs. So you wanna match AR power with this SMG, with this MP40. We don't got enough power for you? You wanna get closer to the LMG? Well, I got your back. We already got aim walking, movement speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and balanced everything else out. Let's get even more power than those eight millimeter rounds. You want more power? Of course you do. Well, I got your back. Right here, lengthen. Plus three bullet velocity with no negatives whatsoever. Bam. But what are we gonna do to stabilize the gun and add some more speed to it? Well, let's check out the under barrel. Let's get going here. There's a lot of great options. Carver foregrip's gonna give you recoil control and hip fire accuracy but you're losing ads speed there's another one here the smle pistol grip it's going to give you sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy but you're losing accuracy and recoil control those are the two better ones i prefer the angled grip in fact it is the stripe angled grip m1930 and the reason why i recommend this is you're getting accuracy aiming stability and aim walking steadiness but you're losing a little bit of sprint to fire speed so this is going to be very accurate while you're aiming down the sights and because we have other attachments that are giving you ads speed or aim walking movement speed you're already going to be moving pretty quickly you got the bullet velocity and damage this is going to help hone the accuracy and the stability while you already have the speed overall this is the killer loadout you wanted it here you go Same spot, like as if anything's gonna change. Oh, uh, what?
Right, even with slap. Woohoo! You're never getting better, I tell you that right now. As soon as they spawn in, I'm being grenaded. It's nasty. This gun is nasty. This gun is nasty. <laughs> Whew. This is a good gun. Hello? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, this gun is so good. No, you're not peeking windows on me, dude. Like, are they just gonna sleep on each other? Like, I don't get this. 